on the Daily Yahoo. Two teenage boys shot to death after asking man how tall he was while buying candy. Two teenage boys were shot to death after asking the suspect how tall he was when they were buying candy from a South Chicago store, police said. Well, yeah, you can be reasonably certain that they were probably being super obnoxious about how they were asking. That's still no reason to shoot people. Just saying. We can read about this, I guess. The incident occurred at approximately 5 p.m. on Saturday, June 20th, after three teenage boys went to a store in South Chicago to buy some candy and ended up having a brief encounter with 19-year-old Leroy Battle inside the establishment. So they're all teenagers, technically. The victims were walking into the store. They saw Battle. He was standing in line while at the store, and the victims commented that Battle, he was quite tall, and they asked him how tall he was and hoped to be that tall someday, said Deputy Chief of Detectives Brendan Dinahan. Unfortunately, we will never even see the full growth of these poor children. Aww. Maybe they weren't so obnoxious. The three teenage boys then left the store and proceeded to walk home together when police say that Battle approached them and began shooting. What the fuck? J Jacine Francis, 17, was shot in the back, chest, and left hand. Charles Riley, 16, was shot in the back and left leg. The third teen, who was not identified, managed to escape the gunfire. Both of the boys who were shot were taken to University of Chicago Hospital and later died from the injuries they suffered during the shooting. The security cameras from the area were able to show the offender discarding a gun in the garbage can, and then Battle was eventually found hiding out in a motel. He was arrested without incident, Dina Han announced in the press conference. So which one of these... Who's, who's this picture of? This doesn't say... It doesn't say which of them it's a picture of. I'm guessing it's the killer, but how can you tell? It doesn't say. Police also said that they recovered nine shell casings from the scene of the crime. A prayer vigil to honor the two teenagers was held on Friday night near the scene of the shooting. He was a kid, said Jace Jashan. Maybe it's Jashan. Jashan. That, that makes sense. Jashan Francis's aunt, Latanya Petit, according to ABC News' Chicago station WLS, Liked video games, snacks, that was his thing. He would walk into this hospital gift shop daily and purchase snacks. He was nice to seniors on the block, said author of Francis's aunts. Said another of Francis's aunts, Kina Hoyle. The nurses looked forward to him coming over there daily. They brought over to the family roses. They watched him grow up as a child. Authorities are still trying to understand the motive behind the shootings. Yeah. There was no altercation, said Dina Han. There was nothing that would, be, that would have set off Battle to be angry at these kids. He is about 6'3", six, 6'4", six, and they literally just asked him how tall he was because he is extremely tall. Battle was denied bond and has been charged with two counts of first-degree murder. Police said he had a previous conviction for aggravated unlawful use of a weapon for which he received probation. Justice was very swift in this case because we got help from the community, Danahan declared during his public statement to the press. Well, that's refreshing. The offender was identified quickly because the community called the detectives and they told them that it was Battle in the video. That is how this case broke. The private security camera footage provided to CPD was incredibly valuable in this case. The fact that detectives can now retrieve this footage quickly and then request the help of the community to identify these kinds of offenders is invaluable. If this actually keeps happening. I mean, the community helping. If they keep doing that. This is just one example of how Chicago can help improve the public safety by working together to remove these very dangerous offenders from the streets, said Dina Han. Okay. Biden slams Trump over reported bounties placed on U.S. troops. Uh, that doesn't sound like it's true. Joe Biden attacked President Donald Trump on Saturday over a report that he said, if true, contains a truly shocking revelation about the commander-in-chief and his failure to protect U.S. troops in Afghanistan and stand up to Russia. Brazen cartel attack in Mexico City opens new front in crime battle. Mexico's bustling capital was once seen as a rel relative oasis in the country's raging drug war, but a shocking military-style assassination attempt on the city's police chief offers proof at least one gang is unafraid to shatter the peace. The hyperviolent Jalisco New Generation cartel, I guess. <sighs> Rolling Stones threatens to Rolling Stones threaten to sue Trump over using their songs. 
The Rolling Stones are threatening President Donald Trump with legal action for using their songs at his rallies despite cease and desist directives. The Stones said in a statement Sunday that their legal team is working with music rights organization BMI to stop use of their shitty music. Used cars are costing dealers more, but this can still be your summer of deals. The wholesale used vehicle market saw values jump above pre-panic forecasts, but the situation still looks good from the shopper's point of view. From car and driver. Okie dokie. Ford, VW, Honda, and BMW will still will stay neutral on challenges to Trump emissions rule. Four major automakers will not take a position on legal challenges to the Trump administration's decision to dramatically weaken Obama-era fuel economy standards, but want to weigh in on any court fix, according to a document seen by Reuters. Well, do you expect them to... Do you, do you expect these automakers to uh, have a problem with less stringent standards? I would. What do you expect? Featured. New episode. Children's stories read by famous voices. Listen to Yahoo and the Gene Co. Foundation's new podcast, Stories, with Benedict Cumberbatch, Rachel Brosnahan, and more reading short stories for children. These stories were submitted by the general public as part of a Yahoo writing competition held during the 2020 coronavirus lockdown. Definitely not trusting any of those to be good children's stories for my children. Although it would be funny if Benedict Benedict Cumberbatch had to read a story about a penguin. 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 What's hot? Oh. 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 Oh, it's, it's Yahoo Search. I never would have guessed. Trending now. Black Lives Matter. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Coronavirus spike, Jenna Marbles, Mariska Hargitay, debt relief programs, Linda Cardellini, dental plans, affordable bathroom remodeling, and Jojo Siwa. Okie dokie. 